Forensic tools. In the early days of digital forensics, analysts had to make do with existing system administration or information security tools. Plenty of these existed, but they were not particularly suited to the more formal approach of a forensic investigation. In particular, much of the software required you to run it on the live system, which introduced all manner of problems with modifying evidence. During the 1980s and 90s, however, increased funding and interest in the field encouraged the development of a variety of specialist commercial and freeware tools. These can generally be broken down into three categories. General forensic tools, tools allowing a wide variety of investigation, particularly keyword searching, on digital media. Specialist forensic tools, which focus on a specific piece of forensic material for investigation, perhaps images or internet artifacts. Often relying on output from one of the general tools. Case management tools, these are used to track, audit and report on cases. In addition, there is a fourth category of useful software, a normal piece of software which can usefully be adapted for use in a forensic investigation. General forensic tools, many of these tools are complex, commercially produced, and come with enterprise price tags in the region of thousands of dollars a year. The majority of commercial tools run on Windows whilst free tools tend to run on Linux. Later on we will discuss the ways digital media can be investigated in more depth, but for the moment it is important to understand that general forensic software is usually centered around the act of keyword searching across a piece of digital media. The two most common ways of performing such searches is live search where the digital media is parsed for a set of keywords and bookmarks of hit locations is stored, and indexing where a text index of the digital media is created, allowing searches to be performed quickly using the index. Both styles have advantages and disadvantages. The de facto industry standard tool is usually considered to be in case produced by Guidance Software. It is a general forensics tool tailored for Windows systems and focuses on the live search method. It includes a scripting interface, dubbed N-Script, which is useful for developing custom tools to extract information. In case is closely followed by Access Data's Forensic Toolkit, or FTK. Other Windows-based tools include ILOOK, Parabens E3 and ISEEK, which uses a new hybrid forensics approach. Specialist forensic tools. Specialist tools focus on a particular aspect of forensic investigation. For example, categorizing images or recovering internet artifacts. The range of tools and software is vast, including commercial and free offerings. One of the better known is a free tool called Categorizer for Pictures, which is a helper tool for classifying images and presenting your results. C4P is a class of tool that relies on output from InCase, using an end script to pass and extract images for processing. We discuss C4P in more detail in Image Investigations. Another common theme for specialist tools is Internet Artifacts. This can range from recovering internet cache data, web pages and other fragments, to analyzing internet history or recovering chat transcript. Internet artifacts often contain a large amount of useful evidence and it is a common focus for investigations. Some notable tools include Net Analysis, Commercial Tool, Passes Internet History Files, .dat, and allows searching, analysis of the data. Internet Evidence Finder. Commercial, scans digital media for a variety of internet artifacts, for example, chat, webmail and internet history. Virtual forensic computing. Allows digital media containing an operating system to be mounted as a virtual machine. Case management tools. We already touched on case management in documenting evidence, but it is included here for completeness. Very few, if any, software tools exist for complete case management, although some practitioners adapt case management tools from the law field. Several free case note tools exist for creating audit-able notes, the primary example being case notes. 
Many analysts still use paper documents, partly because this is an audit trail that courts understand and accept. Useful software. A wide variety of tools exist that are adaptable for forensic investigation. System administration tools, for example, can often tell you a lot about a system. VMware is a commercial, free tool that can be used to view digital media as virtual machines. VLC Media Player can be useful for handling a diverse collection of media.